A mysterious planet has captivated the attention of both scientists and space enthusiasts. The James Webb Telescope has just unveiled the clearest image ever captured of Proxima b. What secrets might this distant world harbor? Could it sustain life? Let's delve into the latest revelations from the James Webb Telescope. Peering back billions of years into the universe's past, we can see how galaxies first formed. With the James Webb Space Telescope JWST, we can push this exploration to new extremes and delve into the farthest reaches of space. The infrared images produced by the JWST offer a perspective previously unseen by human eyes. Just as a Snapchat filter alters your phone's camera view, the telescope's functionality is shaped by how it is employed. The James Webb Space Telescope allows astronomers to probe the early universe and gain insights into the formation of galaxies, stars, and planets. By using the telescope's camera and filters to capture specific light wavelengths, researchers can analyze the colors in these images. Additionally, the JWST will examine the atmospheres of exoplanets and search for signs of extraterrestrial life. The JWST's unparalleled ability to peer further back in time and space has yielded groundbreaking discoveries about the evolution of the universe. For instance, astronomers have used the telescope to uncover more mass than previously thought to exist in the cosmos, concealed within several massive galaxies. The James Webb Telescope has recently unveiled the clearest image ever captured of Proxima b. In 2013, after years of searching, astronomers detected subtle gravitational influences exerted by a planet on its star. This planet, orbiting Proxima Centauri, was subsequently named Proxima b. This discovery is particularly intriguing as Proxima b orbits the closest star system to our own, aside from the Sun. Observing the Alpha Centauri system, which is about four light years away, allows us to glimpse the past, seeing it as it was four years ago. Proxima b certainly stands out as one of the most thrilling discoveries in astronomy. Situated just 25 light years from Earth, it is among the closest exoplanets ever found. But don't be deceived by the distance. Proxima b is vastly different from our home planet. It is roughly 30% more massive than Earth, making it larger as well. Interestingly, Proxima b has an incredibly short year, lasting only 11.2 Earth days. This is due to its close orbit around its star, Proxima Centauri, at a mere 7.3 million kilometers, less than 5% of the distance between Earth and the Sun. Despite this proximity, Proxima b isn't scorched because Proxima Centauri is a small red dwarf star that emits far less energy than our Sun. What would it be like to stand on Proxima b and look up at Proxima Centauri? The star would appear as a dim red disk, about three times larger than our Sun. If Proxima b resides in the habitable zone of its star, it might have the right conditions for liquid water. However, before you start planning an interstellar trip, remember that Proxima b is not a second Earth. The planet is likely tidally locked with its star, meaning one side always faces the star while the other remains in perpetual darkness. This could create a harsh environment for any potential life. Any water near the star would likely be vaporized by its intense radiation, while water on the far side of the planet could freeze due to a lack of heat. Proxima Centauri may not be as conducive to life as once hoped. Although it has only a fraction of the Sun's mass, its small size means its nuclear fusion cores are much closer to the surface, leading to chaotic and turbulent activity. This turbulence results in exceptionally strong magnetic fields that produce intense high-energy radiation and particle bursts, which pose a significant threat to planets like Proxima b in the star's habitable zone. While scientists had some understanding of magnetic field conditions around nearby stars, 
the specifics of Proxima Centauri remained unclear until now. Recent studies using high-resolution magnetic field maps have shed light on the star's solar wind and the harsh conditions on Proxima b. The research revealed that Proxima b is bombarded with approximately 1,000 times more solar wind radiation than Earth, exposing any potential life to hazardous flares. In fact, a flare from Proxima Centauri in April 2021 was 100 times more intense than the most powerful flare ever recorded from the Sun. It's difficult to imagine any life surviving such extreme radiation without advanced protective measures. While the prospect of a habitable planet orbiting Proxima Centauri is intriguing, the actual environment seems far from welcoming. Humans have long been captivated by the prospect of discovering extraterrestrial life. In late 2020, this fascination took a dramatic turn with the detection of an unusual signal from the Alpha Centauri system. This signal, registered at a frequency of 982.07 MHz, is atypical for Earth-based satellites and spacecraft. While some experts suggest it might be the result of manufactured equipment, others hold on to the hope that it could be evidence of intelligent life. The dream of traveling to Proxima Centauri, the closest exoplanet to our solar system, and encountering alien civilizations seems increasingly plausible. The breakthrough initiatives are actively exploring ways to reduce travel time from centuries to just decades. Recent studies indicate that advancements in technology might address the challenge of accelerating an object as its mass increases, especially as it approaches light speed. However, despite these advancements, traveling to Alpha Centauri with current technology would still take about 6,000 years, making the journey an immense challenge. The Starshot Project, which aims to reach Alpha Centauri, the closest star system to Earth, is exploring the use of lasers to propel a spacecraft toward its target. A significant obstacle is the Earth's atmosphere, which distorts both incoming light and laser beams, complicating the process of applying the necessary force to propel the spacecraft. Bandutunga, the lead author of a related paper, suggests an innovative solution employing adaptive optics in reverse. Small lasers on satellites would monitor atmospheric conditions in real time, enabling more powerful ground-based lasers to keep a precise focus on the spacecraft. The project requires a staggering 100 gigawatts of power to propel the spacecraft, equivalent to the total electricity consumption of the United States. However, this immense power is needed for only a brief 10 minutes. To distribute the electricity over a one kilometer square area, the plan involves using 100 million lasers. The Starshot team is dedicated to pushing the frontiers of space exploration with this groundbreaking approach. The spacecraft, accelerated to a remarkable 20% of the speed of light by the lasers, would be about 10 meters in diameter and could reach Alpha Centauri in roughly 22 years. However, challenges such as the sun's gravitational pull and interstellar debris could significantly slow it down. Even after arriving at Alpha Centauri, the probe's transmissions would take another four years to reach Earth. Banditunga and Sibley recognize that one of the major challenges is preventing the probe from overheating. To address this, the spacecraft's mirror must be nearly flawless, reflecting 99.99% of incoming light. Additionally, it needs to manage momentum transfer and heat dissipation efficiently within a matter of days. Once the launch system is established, it opens the door to sending additional probes at a more affordable cost. The potential for catching a glimpse of Earth-like planets increases dramatically with a fleet of probes exploring nearby star systems. The prospect of discovering new planets, possibly similar to Earth, in the Proxima Centauri system and beyond, is truly exciting. Imagine the possibilities for future exploration and the potential to find other habitable worlds. 
Exoplanets are planets that exist beyond our solar system, and thousands of them have already been discovered. The first confirmed exoplanets were found orbiting a pulsar in 1992. Just three years later, the first planet around a sun-like star was identified. Since then, the number of discovered exoplanets has grown significantly, including several Earth-sized worlds located in their star's habitable zones. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button.